Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So we're doing the Snake Knot, a classic, but this time done with some new hardware, uh, the Snap Shackle here, as well as the Rope Thimble. We used this Rope Thimble for the um, that small adjustable bracelet, and now we're incorporating it into a full-on bracelet. So this one turned out quite well, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. As always, huge thank you to my Patreon patrons for making these videos possible. Remember, if you want to get access to exclusive tutorials and giveaways, check out that uh, info down below as well as in the video. And also remember, you can get all the materials you see in this video through my affiliate links down below. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, so to get this bracelet started, I'm actually uh, doing this on a jig because we're tying the snake knot slightly differently. I've got my thimble here, stainless steel thimble as well as the snap shackle, okay? So I'm gonna take the snap shackle and we're gonna just put it on the top part of our jig, like so. And we're gonna take the thimble and just put it on the end here. You can actually do this later if you want, but I'm just going to incorporate it now. Okay, so we've got that there. Let's get this ruler out of the way. And um, to get our paracord on, I'm just gonna keep, situate my jig like that so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got my piece of paracord. I've got it doubled over. Okay, that's the, the midpoint. We're going to hook it on like so. So just put it on your thimble like so and then hook that to the bottom. And then with your cords to the top, bring them back to the top let me get this in the middle for you guys so it's nice and centered. We're going to take our working ends and we're just going to feed them both through the top. Like so. And then pull this all the way through. Okay, so you want your cords coming out the back. If the the mull on the bottom comes off. Um, you don't have to keep it on there. You just put it on after. Okay, so I've got my cords coming out the sides and now we're ready to start tying. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my cord on my right. I'm going to wrap it around everything. So that's the two cords going down the middle. And then also that third cord. Okay. See, wrap it around like so. And then you're gonna take this cord on the left, you're gonna bring it behind and wrap around on the outside of the cord on the right. And then you're gonna bend it through this loop here on the left, like so. Okay, and then from there, you just cinch that knot to the top. Okay, so I got that first knot cinched up to the top and um, that's the pattern. So take, again, take the strand on the right, always strand on the right, bring it around. So loop that around everything like so. And then take the strand on the left Bring it to this side, and I'll show you this, and we'll put the, um, the end of the strand through. So the end of the strand goes right through here, okay? And then cinch it to the top. So that is the pattern we're going to continue tying. Strand around. Strand on the left to the other side, bend it through. Okay, and there you go. So fairly simple and just slightly different from uh, the other two methods of tying the snake knot we've done before. So continue tying this all the way down to the end when you until you meet your uh, thimble there. So we've come down to the end here and all you have to do, I'm just gonna tie one more knot, maybe two more. Um, yeah, just keep going until you meet that end of your loop with a spindle. I can do one more, sorry, 
thimble. We do one more. And then we can just snip and singe the excess and we'll be finished. Okay, so get that last knot in there nice and tight. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm just going to snip and singe the excess. Okay, there we have it, we are finished. So, another bracelet in the books. The uh, shackle and thimble combo. I think I rather like this one. The hardware turned out pretty nice. Okay guys, so remember if you're not subscribed, you wanna see more content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also turn on notifications because YouTube will not notify you of my videos unless you do so. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this one. And remember, plenty more videos where this came from and plenty more videos to see on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.